Graph B can help us visualize the first inequality, and graph A can help us visualize the second one. Now we're not totally there yet in terms of the actual inequalities themselves, but at least in both cases, we now have the curves and lines graph that we need in order to show these inequalities on the graphs. Remember that when we were dealing with solving equations graphically, we could look at both sides of an equation and set each one individually equal to y, and then graph the two equations that gave us. So in this first graph over here, which we know corresponds to x squared minus 16 is greater than zero, I've graphed the parabola y equals x squared minus 16, and I've graphed the line y equals zero, just the x-axis. Over here in coordinate plane b, I've graphed the parabola y equals x squared, and the line y equals 16. 